With the World Wide Web bringing so much information to your fingertips, you're bound to want to save some of that information. In Internet Explorer, there are a number of ways to save online information, including saving the entire web page as a single file web archive, or just saving parts of text. Saving a web page as an archive is useful for when you want to refer back to information that may not be there in the future, such as a current events article or a receipt for an online purchase. Saving text from a page comes in handy when you're researching a topic and want to save pieces of information here and there. There's a recipe online that you'd like to save. To familiarize yourself with the different ways to save information using Internet Explorer, You'll save the recipe as a web archive, as well as copy and paste text from the recipe into Notepad. Here we are at the web page with the recipe we want to save. First, we'll save the entire web page to our desktop, where we'll have easy access to it anytime. This method of saving is especially helpful for web pages that are constantly changing. By saving it, we'll always have a copy even if the original web page moves or the recipe is removed from the page. To begin saving this page, we'll select the Save As command from the Page button on the command bar. As we can see from the highlighted text that appears in this dialog box, we could rename our saved page if we wanted to. The default name works fine for us, so we won't change it. However, we do need to specify that we want to save this to our desktop. For this, we can simply click the Browse Folders button and then select the Desktop link. We can see in the Save As Type list box that by default we'll be saving this page as a web archive, meaning graphics, text, and other content from the original web page will be saved. Keep in mind, however, that the copy on your computer will remain static. Any change to the online version isn't reflected in your saved copy. In addition, hyperlinks will work in your copy only if the destination web pages are still available. With this understanding, let's save our archive now. If we were to check our desktop now, we'd see an icon representing the web archive we saved. This icon allows us to access the recipe anytime we want to by simply double-clicking it. We'll check our desktop later, but for now, let's look at how to copy and paste parts of this web page into Notepad. That's right, web content can work with many applications that you may already be familiar with. It's not exclusive to the web. First, let's click to the left of the word Ingredients towards the bottom of the screen. Now we need to select the rest of the ingredients list, but we can't see it right now. Let's scroll down a bit in order to see the rest. We can see the rest of the ingredients list now. To select it, we need to press the Shift key while simultaneously clicking after the last word in the list. Now that the ingredients list is selected, let's copy it. We can find the command we need on the shortcut menu that will open when we right-click the selected text. Now that we have the ingredients copied to the clipboard, we just need to launch Notepad so that we can paste the list into a new document. To open Notepad, we need to open the Start menu. We can do that by clicking the Start button on the taskbar. Now we can select Notepad to open that application. Now that we've launched Notepad, we can paste the selection we copied earlier into the blank document. We'll find the Paste command on the Edit menu. Now that the ingredients list has been added, let's save our file.
After we name our document, we'll select to save it on the desktop as we did earlier. Now we're ready to save this recipe. Let's minimize all our open windows to view our desktop now. There we should see both files that we've saved. On our desktop, we can see our recipe saved in the notepad file, along with the web archive file. As we've seen here, data from the web can be saved in a number of ways. This shows us more examples of how the web can be integrated easily into our everyday lives.